Coral the Clownfish and Her Crazy Climate Change Adventure. Once upon a time in the big blue sea, there lived a clownfish named Coral. She lived in a cozy nook with waving tentacles called an anemone. Inside the anemone, Coral happily swims around, making sure it stays nice and clean. In return, the anemone gives a Coral a cozy home to live in, protected from any other scary fish. This is called mutualism. It means that when different kinds of animals or plants work together, they both get something good out of it. In Coral's case, it is called cleaning mutualism. Today is a super exciting day for Coral because she gets to go out on errands with her mom. While Coral and her mom are swimming, they come across something strange blocking their way. Coral notices a bright colored thing laying in the sand. Coral quickly finds out it's a piece of trash. Coral and her mom notice more trash in their path and decide to follow it to see where it's coming from. Coral says, Mom, look at this, what happened? All of a sudden, what seemed to be a scary sly shark appeared. Coral yells and says, ah, don't eat me. The sad shark says, I can't even think about food right now, with a sad look on his face. Coral is confused and asks, why are you so sad? He said, I accidentally ate a piece of plastic. It looked like something swimming around, and then when I ate it, my tummy really started to hurt. A lot of my friends have accidentally been eating trash down here too. One of my friends told me there are over 5 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean right now. Coral is very confused, says goodbye to the sad shark, and tells him that she hopes he feels better. Coral can't understand how so much trash is in their home and asks her mom. Coral's mom says there are many reasons why it can be so messy. Sometimes people throw away their trash incorrectly and it can end up in the wrong place or places that are located right next to the sea will dump their trash into the ocean and that no one will get in trouble for it. Coral is sad to hear this, but her mom cheers her up because there are ways to help. Coral's mom tells her not to be scared because there are ways to help. She tells Coral that if humans can use less plastic, throw away trash correctly, and spread the word about how badly polluted the ocean is, maybe humans will change their mind about how to treat others' homes. Pollution is one of the main causes of climate change in today's world. Some of the main causes of pollution include what Coral learned today, in addition to boating, landfills, and negligence. It's important to reduce, reuse, recycle, and avoid plastics. Climate change is also due to the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, agriculture, waste management, and land use changes. We can learn to prevent pollution and more importantly, climate change through educating ourselves, disposing of waste properly, being mindful of wildlife and fishing practices, and choosing sustainable products. Without these, the world will be changing at a very fast and negative rate. Be the change. The end. Credits to Hannah Driver, Camille Kida, Chloe Martin, and Elizabeth Wooers.